Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, it's gloomy here in Chicago. This is our 16th day in December, in which we've had cloud cover and no suns. We're on a pace for a record for December for the uh, gloomiest month in December since 1893. As far as the overnight trade is concerned, uh, kind of a mixed trade. Uh, beans a little lower, corn unchanged, wheat a little bit higher. Headlines are about the same. And over in the wheat market, uh, still waiting for any announcement from Russia about an export uh, duty and uh, tariff and how that's going to affect uh, sales that are on the book, future sales, and how much they're actually going to export. The market has taken some profits from the highs last week on, on feelings that the world can kind of make up for Russian shortfall um, if, uh, if they ship uh, what we think they are going to ship. Um, as far as the corn market is, pretty quiet. Uh, we're just kind of lounging around at a certain price in which we can buy grain from the farmers, but also uh, we are competitive in the export market as far as future exports. But we still have a record amount of corn as of December 1. The farmer still has to sell. Funds are still looking ahead for 2015 for a possible lower U.S. corn supply as supportive. And over the beans, uh, 2015 numbers are bearish. Um, we did see a, a headline that some people are raising their estimates of uh, the soybean crop down in Brazil. Uh, once that hits the market, it should be negative to prices. But the nearby demand is, is strong, and, and uh, that's keeping prices uh, at the levels where they're at. As far as uh, we close early tomorrow at uh, 12 noon here at the CBOT Grains, also the weekly U.S. export sales data will be delayed until Monday. Um, as we also note that in the cash markets, uh, corn and bean domestic values are collapsing uh, because of the slower demand pace ahead and uh, all the grain that uh, uh, has been moved recently. The domestic users feel they have comfortable ownership for both corn and bean. We also note that uh, from a weather standpoint, got some rains in the Midwest the next couple of days. The extended models look colder and drier. Uh, Brazil weather is fine. Argentina recently got some rains, but we'll have to watch them pretty closely and make sure they get normal rains from here on out. Um, I'll be taking vacation for the remainder of the year, so I hope everybody has a good holiday and good new year. Um, as far as the uh, other issues outside markets, uh, stock market making new highs, uh, crude's up a little bit, the dollar's up a little bit. So I um, uh, hope everybody has a good holiday. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And if you have any questions for us on social media, please send us the questions and we'll get the answers back to you as soon as we can.